graphically determine the magnitude of the resultant of the following three vector displacements. 1, 50 meters, 30 degrees north of east. 2, 20 meters, 37 degrees north of east. And 3, 25 meters, 45 degrees north of east. What's its magnitude? So the first thing we're going to do is to draw out graphically what we have for this problem. So we are told we have our first vector, which is 50 meters, 30 degrees north of east. So this is 1. Then we're told vector 2, which is going to show in blue, is 20 meters, 37 degrees north of east. So with respect to this here, it's 20 meters, 37 degrees north of east. So this is 2. And now for 3, we're told that it is 45 degrees, 25 meters north of east. So this up here corresponds to vector 3. Now, in order to find the resultant of this, point that connects here and here. This is our resultant vector. We have to add up the components of 1, 2, and 3. So we need all of the x components and all of the y components to solve for the resultant vector here. So if we set up a table over here to the side, so we do vector 1, vector 2, vector 3, and then the sum of them all. And we have the x component and the y component of each. And then we set that up into a table. We can then solve for the magnitude of the resultant. Okay, so for the first vector, we got to solve for the x and y components for it. So, uh, for vector 1, we know it is 15 meters and it's a 37 de 30 degrees north of east. So, to solve for, here's our x, my axis, and here's our vector, which I'm going to show in red again. So, this is our vector here, and we have an angle of 30 degrees here. To solve for the x component, we're going to use cos of theta is equal to vx over 15. So our x component is equal to 15 cos of 30. Now the cos of 30 is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So vx is approximately equal to 13 meters. So this is going to be x in meters and y in meters. So this will be 13. And then to solve for the y component, we're going to use sine of theta is equal to vy over 15. So vy is 15 sine 30 degrees. Now the sine of 30 is equal to 1 half. So half of 15 is 7.5. So we're going to put that in for 1. Now we do the same for 2 and 3. So for 2, uh, we're going to use the same process here. So we know that V2's x component is equal to 20 cos of 37 degrees, which gives us roughly 16 meters. And its y component is equal to 20 sine of 37 degrees which gives us roughly 12 meters. And then for vector 3, we're going to have the same form. So Vx is equal to 25 cos of 45 degrees, which gives us roughly 18 meters. 
and then VY is also equal to 25 sine instead now of 45 degrees which also gives us roughly 18. Now if we add these all together we would get a net X component of 47 meters and net Y component of 37.5 meters but since we're staying in significant figures of 2 we would reduce we would increase this to 38 meters now that we have solved for the X and Y components we now have to solve for the magnitude of our resultant vector so in order to do that we remember that we draw out the X component which is 47 meters and the Y component is 38 meters so the magnitude of it would be the hypotenuse of this triangle which we're going to denote C. Now in order to solve for C we're going to write C squared is equal to 47 squared 47 meters squared plus 38 meters squared. Now to solve for C we take the square root of both sides which leaves us with C is equal to square root of 47 meters squared plus 38 meters squared. Now if we square both of those and add them together we would get a value of 3,653. Now if we take the square root of that we would get a magnitude of roughly 60 meters. So the magnitude of these three vectors added together corresponds to a vector of magnitude of 60 meters. So the answer for this problem would be 60 meters.